Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 5th through the 11th of December 2021. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving and have had a good week. I do want to take just a quick second guys to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. If you find that it's not resonating with you, I encourage you to check your other signs and placements. See if those readings may resonate just a little better. Um, also, keep in mind, in a general reading, the energies can reverse or flip-flop. That's not at all unusual. All right, if you'd like a personal reading, the directions are in the box beneath this video. So, let's get started. Spirit, can I have the energy of Aries, please? Aries. Energy of Aries. Aries, you start out with the Five of Cups in the reverse. We have the Nine of Pentacles. And coming out together, we have the King of Pentacles reversed and the Ten of Wands. So somebody was a problem, huh? Um, but you look like you are becoming very single here. Um, single and independent and feeling better about things. Um, so yeah, it looks like there was a breakup here. Um, the King of Pentacles, King and Queen of Pentacles for that matter, um, generally are the married King and Queen or if not married, committed um, King and Queen. Um, in the reverse, this indicates a breakup. The breakup was problematic with the Ten of Wands. It did create, a, you know, a hardship if not physically, emotionally. Um, and it could have been even financially because um, it is dealing with pentacles after all. There could have been a loss involved here financially. But primarily this looks like there was a transformation that occurred um, with this breakup. I do see you now doing well. Um, you're kind of showing up here, Aries, as a catch because with the Nine of Pentacles, that indicates that you're now independent and you have a glow up going on. Um, you know, you're financially well off, you're, you're doing well, um, in other areas of your life. You're, you're, it's a card of being very independent and single and kind of having the world at your feet. And with the five of cups, I can see because it is in the reverse, you did go through some sadness here, but you know, you're kind of coming out on the other side of that. So this is good. Let's see who you are connecting with here. It looks as if you've kind of gone through a little bit of a transformation. Okay, so the person you are connecting with has the Three of Swords in the reverse, Eight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, you could be dealing with an Earth sign here. Um... That would be a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus, but you don't have to be. Um, this is also somebody who has felt some sadness. This person has gone through a very painful experience and is also coming out of that. Um, so there's some mirroring going on here. Um, they're feeling more positive as well, feeling more healed. Um, this may be somebody that you have met at work. Um, doesn't have to be, um, but I can tell you that this person did put some work into their, um, into themselves and into healing up over this situation that had hurt them, and they're coming forward here with something solid. This Knight of Pentacles, um, this is a solid offer. This is something that is stable. This is somebody who is wanting to put in the work with you. So let's look at the connection. It feels like a, a newer connection to me. It could be someone from the past, but it feels like a newer connection. I don't know why, it just feels that way. Queen of Wands. Okay, so there's a spark between the two of you. Um, could be dealing with a fire sign, um, such as yourself. 
which would be another Aries possibly, or it could also be a Sagittarius or a Leo, um, but doesn't have to be any of that. There definitely is a spark between the two of you. Um, and I do see that there is some kind of action between the two of you. There is a mutual um, attraction though. So this is good. Um, there is a, like there's a, a, a desire there between the two of you and definitely a physical spark. So this is very nice. Let's see the what's directly affecting this connection. Okay, we have Judgment in Reverse, and we have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Okay. So, it looks like um, with Judgment in Reverse, you may have already called Judgment on this. Um, with regard to a new beginning. So you may be deciding whether or not you want a new beginning with this person. Um, it could be that you're, you're scoping this out. You're trying to decide. Um, this person definitely wants a, a beginning with you. They are coming forward with something solid. They're willing to move slowly. They're not trying to move fast. And I think that's because this person has felt, you know, some kind of an emotional trauma in the past as well. So I don't see them trying to move very quickly here. Um, like I said, this could be someone from the past. There's no real indication. Um, I do feel that if it is someone from the past, though, that you are not going to accept this person back. Um, if it is a newer person, I think you're you're trying to determine if you would like to have a beginning, a new beginning with this person. So, um, for those of you who have somebody from the past coming back, they're going to be trying to come back and put the work into the situation, um, possibly even after a third party um, has ended. Not for everybody, of course, but for some. And, you know, they're going to be moving slow, but they are coming back. For others, though, this is a new person. And this is somebody who has gone through some emotional trauma. And they there's a little mirroring going on. And this is someone who wants to put the work in with you. But they're going to be moving very slowly. So, um, Aries, if this is someone coming back from the past, I, I believe most of you are not willing to to take this person back. But if this is a new person, I think you're trying to make up your mind here. Let's look at the outcome. Spirit, can I see the outcome at the end of the week? Yeah, the Two of Swords, not really making a decision, kind of feeling confused, um, you know, not, not really deciding at this time. Kind of maybe even going back and forth. So, yeah, bottom of the deck is the Page of Cups in the reverse. Now, this is underlying energy. So, um, the underlying energy that I'm seeing, Aries, is that you're kind of holding back your emotions right now. There is this, um, this physical attraction. There may even be action between the two of you, perhaps some flirtation. Um, but I don't see you really putting your emotions on the line right now. I feel like emotionally you're, you're kind of holding back. Um, why is the Five of Cups here? Let's clarify everything. It's the Five of Cups in reverse for Aries. All right, we have the Death card in reverse, and we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So there's a cycle here of some kind, Aries, that you have not ended. There's something here that's not quite ended, you haven't walked away from. So you're you're more optimistic about something? Well, that's interesting because it doesn't look like you're giving it a second chance. Um, and you've gone through a lot of sadness. So, But it's, it's definitely showing me that there is a cycle here that has not transformed, it has not ended. Um, now, this could be past energy. This could have been an on-again, off-again connection from the past. Um, let's see why it's the Nine of Pentacles here. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? The Empress in reverse and the High Priestess in reverse. 
Yeah, you became single because of a secret of some kind that came out. And this secret, whatever this secret was, it's what caused the relationship not to grow. There was some something that came out, some kind of information that you found out. And you, you may have felt very disrespected by this. You may have felt um, as if you were being, you know, treated in a disrespectful manner. That you weren't being um, placed in the role that you deserved. And that's why you became single. Let's, let's look at the bottom. So this could have been a connection where you were holding on to a connection. And then you finally had to let go because it wasn't going anywhere. It wasn't growing because of secrets. All right, Queen of Swords in reverse. Four of Cups in reverse. And the Ace of Wands. Yeah, there was anger involved here. Um, air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, there was anger involved here. Um, the anger had, and, and the breakup, the anger and the breakup had to do with, um, with somebody who was really not honoring the connection. Somebody wasn't honoring the connection. And the problems were because there was a new beginning elsewhere, possibly just sex, because Ace of Wands is a very phallic symbol. Um, sometimes it can indicate one night stands or sexual liaisons. Um, and that's coming up clarifying the Ten of Wands so that it was a problem. So I feel like, I feel like um, you were very angry because there were sex, there was sexual activity outside of this connection. This must have been the secret that came out. Meanwhile, you were trying very hard to hold on to the connection. And finally, I think you decided that you, you had to end it. You became single because you were being disrespected. So let's look at this person that you're connecting with. Why is the Three of Swords in reverse? Why is the Three of Swords in reverse? Okay, we have the Eight of Coins. We have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, over here is the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So this person is speaking of the same same thing. Um, there's sadness. There was sadness because of a breakup, a breakup of a committed person. Um, so, Eight of Pentacles twice tells me that this person was working on the commitment or that somehow work was involved in this situation. So, for some of you, if this is the previous person, the person you were connected with may have cheated on you with somebody in the workplace. And and you you decided that you were done with that. You the secret came out, you were done with that. Um the person that you connected with, if this is a new person, um, I do believe that this person really tried to work at their connection, their relationship, but it did not pan out. It, it was very emotionally, un, you know, painful, and it still ended. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Page of Swords in reverse, Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, emotionally unfulfilling, and you know there were there were uh, things withheld, information withheld, an ending here, most likely of a family. Um, so again, if this was a previous person, Aries. It was because there was um, lies with regard to a work situation. 
this person may have told someone in the workplace that they were either already separated or divorced um, or they told somebody that they just weren't being emotionally fulfilled within their relationship um, but there was somebody it looks like within their workplace and but they lied to that person as well um, if this is someone new this is they put a lot of work into this connection but ultimately they were not emotionally fulfilled and there were lies within their connection why is the knight of pentacles here all right we have the four of coins reversed and we have the eight of rods reversed okay so an offer here was blocked an offer blocked um so this person let go mm -hmm. um previous person aries um may have made an offer to try to um bring this back together um they feel that they were blocked there may have been a financial loss for them in this but um with the four of coins in the reverse they um reluctantly released um released this um this connection um because you blocked them <laughs> so they got blocked um either that or they got blocked by the other person and then they may have tried to make an offer to you and that may very well be what happened they may have they may have ended something that was third party but it wasn't them that ended it could have been the other person um so be aware of that but regardless um they've been blocked so they've released something here and they're they're making an offer and I, that is an offer towards you um if this is the new person that you have met what i'm seeing is because i'm seeing two very distinct timelines um what i'm seeing is that they're making an offer towards you and they um they do feel blocked by you so either way i feel that <laughs> you're kind of blocking everybody it's because your heart's not really open right now um yeah i can see that all right why is the queen of wands here Two of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, so you're taking action. You're taking action, Aries, and I see you kind of in your power here as well. Um, your actions are completely, you're completely in power, and I feel like you're kind of now in charge of the show. You're the one who's running this show. Um, you, like I said earlier, you kind of have your glow up on and I feel like you're choosing to go in another direction because of the betrayal. Um, if it's a new person, I just feel like you're just choosing to go in another direction. I feel like you blocked this new person as well. Um, in both cases though, the person feels, um, feels a, a bit betrayed. They, they feel let down. See what's directly affecting this because i feel like you have called judgment on on the, the situation um but if it's a new person i'm not sure you've completely closed the door all right so we have the seven of pentacles temperance in reverse and the four of swords in reverse hmm. so there's an imbalance that is affecting the connection and that's because Aries, you really hold all the cards. So it's not a balanced situation. In in both um, timelines, you really are the one holding all the cards here. Um, and you're kind of being very patient. You're being very patient um, about the situation if it's a new person. 
as far as making a judgment call. You're being very patient about it. You're realizing you hold all the cards here and you're trying to make a choice. Is this direction I want to go? I don't know. Um, you're aware it's an option. If this is the old person, I think that you are looking at this as far as what your time and investment from the past has been. And I feel like you, you don't want to go back into it because you know that in the past it wasn't balanced for you. And so you now know it's your decision. Now the person you're dealing with here, um, in both cases, they definitely want to talk to you. After, um, so the, if this is a, a person returning, there's been a period where you didn't talk with them and they're gonna wanna talk to you about a new beginning. The other person I feel like is just gonna wanna be talking to you about you know, communicating with you about this new beginning. Um, they're feeling blocked, though. They're feeling like you have them, you know, like the Heisman. You've got them kind of like, you know, blocked off here. Um, at the end of the week, we have the Two of Swords, which, like we said earlier, um, you know, you're, you're pretty much just putting them on hold. Ace of Cups reversed, the Fool in reverse, and Justice. Yeah, so you're you're making the decision, and you're the one who's 100% in control here, um, and I think you know it, and I think it feels good to you, because I feel like you, in the past, were in a situation where you may have felt like you didn't have much control, um, so it, it feels satisfying for you, for you to have that amount of control. Now, like I said, you're making a decision. You have the Ace of Cups. You have the Ace of Pentacles. So you're looking at this to see if it's going to be a truly good and solid beginning, a, a beginning uh, that is full of love and stability. Um, you have the Fool in reverse. And so if this is a new person, you're going to consider this. Like I said, you're considering, am I going to take a leap of faith? Um, do I want to, do I want to take this risk? You do have fear of taking a risk because of what has happened in the past. Um, if this is the old person, I feel like you are, you're turning them down. You're blocking this person. Um, the person you're dealing with, um, if it is a new person, this is very strong Libra, by the way. But this is a person that is um, very well balanced. They could work in a legal field or a teaching field. They don't have to. Um, or even something to do with the law of some, in, in some way. But this is a person who is pretty well balanced. And now this is if they're a new person. Um, and they are really trying to do what is right by you. Okay. Um, if it is the person from your past history, Aries, that is returning, they are reaping their karma. So I can see very clearly those two different timelines. And some of you are actually, because for some of you, those timelines kind of converge and move away. Um, and so some of you are experiencing both. You, you've met somebody new and you have the old or previous person returning. Um, very interesting reading. So bottom of the deck, look at that, is the nine of coins all over again. So you really are all that. What is it that they used to say, all that in a bag of chips? Um, you really are. <laughs> so December has you really in, in your power and in your glow up Aries. So, I mean, it's phenomenal. And I think you are really able to just pick and choose. And I don't see you in a hurry. So let's, um, let's pull Oracle cards and see if there's any further messages for you. It's interesting. Okay. So, <laughs> so funny. Um, usually I pull one per, but your person here has two. And I'm wondering if that's because there's two different people. 
um, you know, two different timelines. So, but I was told to keep them both. All right. So for you, i uh, look at that. For you, Aries, we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So there's verification for a lot of you that there is someone that is returning. Like I said, it'll be your choice, but for most of you, I don't see you accepting that person. Um, there's two different cards for this individual, or for the second person. It may be because there's two people that you're um, dealing with are, you know, two different timelines. So I will read them both. I was directed to keep both, which is unusual. Um, the first one is chemistry. There's a strong magnetic connection here. Okay, so there's definitely some chemistry here um, that is going to be affecting this. And then the other card is passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So in either case, there is definitely some passion that is here. And we saw that in the connection as well. Now for the connection itself, it says, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So there's that decision making. So Spirit is saying, keep an open mind um, because it, it, your soulmate might be very different from the type of person that you are used to. All right. Well, I hope this has been helpful, Aries. Um, if you would like and share the video, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I would really appreciate that. And also, if you would like to drop me a comment, I read all of them. So until I see you next week in the weeklies, namaste.